So if you're like me and NA10 isn't really giving you enough power, I might have a solution for you. So you can see right here, I have three MCP client tools. I have the Scraper and GitHub, Scrape YouTube and PDF Generator. Now, the problem with the MCP client node in NA10 is that it does require a server sent event endpoint. And unfortunately, out there, like publicly, there aren't many options to use this, okay? So there is like Zapier, or we can also obviously use the MCP server trigger that is available within NA10, but it's kind of boring because we just get access to all the same stuff. So what I've done here is actually make the MCP servers myself, host them on Railway, and that way I can access them via NA10 as well. So I've just said, create a PDF about the differences of using sunscreen versus no sunscreen, and to create this PDF for us, which we can't do within NA10, but let's try this out. So I'll send that off. All right, so now we can see it generating the PDF right here as well. We have 3,500 tokens, so a little bit of text that it's generating for us. Now we have 7,000, so I assume it's gonna be pretty extensive. Let's open this up. We can open up our GitHub, which is gonna have this PDF for us right here. And then there we go. We have a PDF generated via an MCP server, which is obviously you know making it all. And as you can see, there's a little bit of formatting issues here as well but that is nothing that I can't fix myself, which I am working on as well. But I'm just demonstrating right here that we can actually be using an MCP server that we create ourselves in NA10 and giving our workflows, giving our agents a lot more power as well. And let's give another little demonstration here as well. Let's say, for example, I wanted to get an article, all right? So let's just take this one here about Grok, okay? So we have some text, we have some imagery as well. Let's just copy that. We'll come over to NA10, We'll paste it in here and I'll just say extract. All right, and we'll let that run through and I'll get back to you in a sec. All right, so that one's already done. I've already opened it up here as well so we can view it. And there we go. We have the whole extracted article, which has just been scraped from that website and placed straight into our GitHub in just seconds. And we're not even using any APIs or anything like that, okay? This is directly via the MCP that I've made and everything is here for us to take literally right now. And we can try another one as well. Let's take Pydentic AI's thinking documentation. We'll copy that, bring it over here. We'll say extract, put it in there. And I'll jump back to you in a second again. All right, so that one's done. Let's go check it out as well. And there we go. We have the whole extracted document straight from Pydentic AI, now in our GitHub repository as well. And I mean, we could place this anywhere. We could email it to ourselves. We could put it in Notion. We could put it on Google Sheets. But I just like using GitHub because it's easy to put literally anything there, okay? Um, but this is really, really nice and really, really fast. And it's no cost. There's no cost at all, okay? Apart from setting it up on railway and things like that, but I'm paying like $5 a month, all right? And that's not per MCP server, that's for like several dozen, okay? Now let's try another one here and let's get some YouTube video data and everything like that as well. And I've just said here, get me the best titles to use for AI news with examples and metrics of currently high performing videos, all right? So I've said no tables at the end because it doesn't really render nicely within the little chat here but let's send that off and I'll get back to you in a sec. Now we have our data back from YouTube as well. So we have videos here with the titles, with the views, the likes, the comments, the views per day that it's getting as well, why it works. And obviously we can click to watch it on YouTube as well, but this is just allowing us to get ideas of what video titles to use and what video titles are working right now, like literally within the last week. And don't get me wrong, you could create any kind of MCP server that you wanna make. It's not just these MCPs that I've made here, anything that you want. You could have whole full automations within that MCP server. You could connect to other large language models within the MCP server as well. Like you could have Gemini in there with Grok4, with Claude, all combined into one MCP server. There are a million different things that you can do. So I'll show you how I've been building these out as well. So everything here was built with Claude code and I'm using Claude code within VS code right here. Now, as you can see on the right here, I do have those MCP servers. So I have the PDF generator, the web scraper, and obviously the YouTube MCP as well. So just looking at the web scraper MCP here as well, as an example, we can see that I have the extractor here, which is the one extracting the information from those websites. We do have the tools and the tools are essentially the tools that the MCP server has, okay? What the large language model, our AI agent has access to, all right? So we'll see here as well, like crawl and publish. Now we have the description. This is alerting the large language model, what it can do, what's the kind of power of each of these tools, okay? So we can kind of create all of these tools right here. And then we have the GitHub integration here as well. So this is how I'm publishing to GitHub, you know, to take those actual um, scrape documents, you know, documentation, articles, whatever it may be, and then place them onto GitHub. 
this is how we're doing that as well. So everything is all connected into one little MCP server, which then we can host. So if I jump over to Railway right here, you can see as an example, this is the actual PDF generator one. Um, you can see everything here and all the actions that it's you know kind of doing as the large language model, our AI agent is accessing it. You can see everything that it's doing right here. You can see right here, we have the theme as a light because that's an actual template theme that I've made. Um, it's creating the title, the font style is professional, and then we have the content right here as well. Publish to GitHub, true, because maybe we just want to create some sort of document without actually publishing it as well. Um, and then we have the processing tool we can see right here, which is generate technical PDF. And these are just all the tools within that MCP server that then the AI agent has access to. And this is giving our AI agents a lot more power in NA10 because this is not even available directly in NA10. We are just giving the superpowers to the AI agents via MCP tools. And while I do understand a lot of you are no coders, you don't really understand a lot of this stuff, you are just missing out on the bigger picture, on the power of AI and all the opportunities that we can take and, and play with right now today. And I do talk about cloud code a lot in my community as well. And I can tell you right now, it's one of the most powerful and best things in AI that have come out for this year. So don't miss out, don't miss out on the opportunity and get to learning. I'll see you in the next video.